this week, right, driving along, and all of a sudden, bam, there's this pain, this like stinging needle-like pain right here. And I'm like, ah, oh, like freaking out, what is that? And I can feel something in my jumper. And I, so I'm freaking out. I'm crying hysterically, like hyperventilating, thinking it's either a wasp or a spider, both of which I am utterly terrified of. So my skin feels like it's on fire and I managed to pull myself into the driveway and ran through the front door, threw my jumper off and just ran upstairs. I was like, I cannot see what was in that jumper with me. So I was hoping whoever was in the lounge was just gonna sort it out for me. So I'm upstairs in the bathroom, sitting on the floor, crying hysterically. I know it's slightly dramatic, but it hurts so bad. And I was like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see. I don't want to see a sting or a bite. And I was, I was completely freaked out by, by this feeling of something had been on me. But I thought, actually, I know I don't want to look at it, but there might be a sting that needs taken out, or it might be venomous or something, and I need to have it looked at. So I, I had to be brave. So I slowly stand up in front of the bathroom mirror, and I take a deep breath, and I look, and I see two puncture marks with a big red rash around it and well I, it set me off crying even more because I was like two puncture marks means that it was a spider so I shout downstairs and I was like was it a spider and I hear back yeah it was it was a spider but it's dead now you squashed it in your top which upset me even more and um, I don't know why I asked it but I was like was it a big one and I heard back it was quite big it had a big back which oh makes me just feel sick that it was like a proper like proper spider um but it, i mean the stinging stopped after a couple of hours um and yeah i survived a spider bite but i'm secretly hoping that soon whew, i'll be able to sh like shoot stuff from my wrists sometimes when painful things happen in our lives we don't want to face them we don't want to talk about it we bury our feelings we try to carry on like it hasn't happened but deep deep down we're in pain and we don't deal with it but you know, when the pain inside is bad, we can't just ignore it. We, we have to do something about it. If something has happened in your life, something that someone said or done, maybe you feel let down or hurt and you've got all these emotions inside, anger, sadness, fear, hurt, and, and it's making you ache inside and you've been pushing it all down, trying not to think about it. I wanna ask you a question today and that is, will you face what has happened will you look at it and let that pain come to the surface if you haven't talked about the stuff that's upsetting you before i would really encourage you this week or this month to find someone that you can open up to whether that's a teacher or a parent or a friend when i got bitten by the spider i went to my friend becky who's a nurse just to get her to check it out because i needed a bit of advice and maybe you need a bit of support and advice about the stuff that's happened in your life. You know, painful experiences, they're really hard to talk about, but we have to let that pain out if we're going to begin to heal.